Thanks for rolling up with Tuba Marley. Certified pothead. Twisting up this uh Dutch Irish fusion. Go ahead, check what we got going on around here. Thanks. We'll look forward to that. Groups in both Arkansas and Oklahoma are both hoping to see uh, something on the November ballot. They're talking about wanting to legalize recreational marijuana. And 5 News reporter Ian Taylor spoke to the group who is now working to bring that issue to the state. We think Oklahoma. Hold on. So, um, Arkansas is jumping in the game too? All right. Muhammad's are ready for this. Uh, we think that the state needs this and putting it off was just really not a question for us. Ryan Kiesel with the 820 campaign says today was a big step in what he calls the next logical move to legalizing recreational marijuana in Oklahoma. We had 90 days to collect 94,911 signatures. Our de Oh, okay, he said 94,000. I thought this nigga was about to say, like, like I thought he said 900,000, which is damn near a million signatures in 90 days. 900,000, 90,000. 90, that, that, that's, that, that, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Deadline is sometime in early August. Today, Oklahomans for Sensible Marijuana Laws dropped off over 100 boxes at the Secretary of State's office, totaling more than 164,000 signatures a month before the August 1st deadline. Signatures were... So these motherfuckers... These motherfuckers went out, did the hustle, and got that shit done in the month in advance? That's what I'm talking about, bro. We smokers, you know what I mean, get together and... Yeah, get the fuck, you know what I mean, uh, shit done will be verified and will make its way to the November ballots, but not everyone is planning to vote in favor. I honestly don't feel like it's necessary. I think that medical marijuana passing was enough and I would not support recreational. Why? Why? What do you think the difference is? What are you thinking the difference is? Use. Medical marijuana became legal in 2018 with patients paying a 7% tax. And if passed recreationally, those purchasing without a medical card will be taxed 15%, which could. That's kind of low. That's kind of low. 15%. It's not bad. I mean, even more revenue for the state of Oklahoma. To be clear, medical marijuana is never really meant to be a revenue generator for the state. It's, it's about medicine. And right. uh, when you move over to recreational, it is a revenue generator. So the revenue that we've seen generated with medical marijuana, uh, we anticipate will be even larger with recreational. Covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. That's definitely true. The tax from medical is, 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 is never the same as rec is. And there's more motherfuckers who will buy rec than get medical, like medical, bro. Motherfuckers got to go in there and lie, bro. Niggas gotta go in there and lie to not I mean get get med cards. When you go wreck, bro, you eliminate the lie, bro. So niggas just can go buy it, bro. In Arkansas, groups are also working to get enough signatures to get recreational marijuana on the November ballot in the natural state. Those signatures have to be turned in by this Friday, July 8th, to qualify. In total, the petitions in Arkansas must have just more than 89,000 signatures. Five News will update you if enough signatures are collected to see it on your ballot come November. Mm, Arkansas, bruh. Arkansas, y'all need. I don't even know if Arkansas is going to do it, bruh. I'm sure there's enough. There's enough stoners in Arkansas to do it. I just don't know that you know what I mean. Um, I don't know how them Arkansas stoners is, bruh. Are they, are they, are they, are they leg work people? Like, are they going to go to sign these joints? Or are they going to wait for people to come to them? Like, like, yeah, sometimes stoners got to do leg work, bro. 